Hey guys, this is Mr. Pog Samora and today I'm going to teach you how to make a trade machine in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So here are the things that you need for you to make a trade machine in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So the first one is any block of your choice. So here I'm using the stone bricks, redstone comparator, redstone repeater, dropper, hopper, redstone dust, chest, rail, powered rail, minecart with chest, item frame, emerald, villager egg, and portal frame, and any item that you want to trade. So the first thing that we should do is to stack up two layers of any block of your choice, and then we're going to add two more blocks here, just like that. And then I'm going to put here the chest. Then I'm going to put a hopper at the side of the chest, so you must sneak for you to do that. There you go. And then you're going to put here power rail. And then also here on top of the hopper. Just like that. And then another rail here at the middle. Just like that. Then we're going to put here the bottom. And then here the minecart with chest. There you go. And then after that, I'm going to put here three layers of stone bricks. One, two, and then three. And then on top, I'm going to put the dropper facing this way just like that and then here i'm going to remove first the minecart with chest because i'm going to put here the hopper there you go and then i'm going to put the minecart with chest again and then here i'm going to sneak and then i'm going to attach two more hoppers from the first hopper so one and then two there you go all right so let's remove first these two blocks here and then i'm going to put the redstone comparator at the side of the hopper just like that so it must be facing to the opposite direction and then i will put the stone bricks once again just like that and then here at the back i will put four more stone bricks there you go and then here i'm going to put a redstone comparator just like that and then i will add two more redstone comparator here one and then two and then a redstone dust here there you go and then i will put two more stone bricks here one and then two and then another one here there you go and then let's connect this redstone repeater to the other two redstone repeaters just like that using redstone dust and then i'm going to put another redstone repeater here at the back of the dropper just like that and then i will connect the redstone repeater going to the other repeaters just like that and then i will change the levels of the redstone repeaters into three so one two three also this one one two three and also this one here one two three there you go and then i will put another button here just like that and then i will now cover this part here with stone bricks so this time i will now make a window for the villager there you go and then also i'm going to cover this part here that's it and then here i'm going to make a hole and then i will put the end portal frame just like that and then i will now spawn a villager right into the portal frame just like that and then i will now cover this part just like that okay there you go all right so for some decoration purposes i will put here a door there you go and basically we're done so all we have to do right now is to customize your trade shop or trading machine so you can add here uh, some item frames and then you can put here the items that you want to trade okay there you go that's it so all we have to do right now is to go here and then click the dropper and then what we're going to do is to put the items that we want to trade so here uh, let's have flint and steel and then a fishing rod and a shear okay there you go so these are the items that will be traded for the emerald so basically we're done with the trading machine so all we have to do right now is to check whether it's working or not so of course for this to work you must have an emerald actually you can use any item in exchange for emerald if you don't have emerald in your survival world but of course that's the very concept of trading that's why we're going to use emeralds so for this machine to work all you have to do is to open the minecart with chess and then let's place an emerald there you go and then let's push the button here and let's see what will happen there you go so as you can see there goes the minecart with chess and there you go it just returned 
and let's see what's inside the chest so as you can see we have now the flint and steel so this trading machine is really working and that is so awesome now let's check what's inside the chest once again so as you can see it's empty so what if if we're going to push the button and the chest is still empty let's see what will happen so let's push the button now so as you can see it did not return and that is so awesome because this machine is a smart trading machine meaning you cannot trick it if you want to get an item without giving an emerald first so again for us to reset this machine all we have to do is to go inside the trade shop and let's push the button here inside there you go so as you can see the minecart goes to the opposite direction and as you can see it's already here and that is so awesome so i hope you learned something from this video now if you did just smash the thumbs up button for more minecraft pocket edition tutorial videos and tricks if you have any reaction any suggestion just leave it in the comment section below so again this mpz mr pog samora don't forget to subscribe. Bye now. Hey guys, this is Mr. Pog Zamora, the owner of three YouTube channels, namely Mr. Pog Zamora, Unique Potato, and Tricky Pumpkin. Mr. Pog Zamora channel is currently focusing on Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial videos and tricks. You can also find here Redstone tutorial videos, Minecraft PE Let's Play Survival Series, and more about Minecraft PE and Minecraft PC. So let's push the button. There you go. So there goes the minecart. There goes uh, the TNT. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Plus, if you're also a fan of Survivor Craft, then this channel is definitely for you. It has as many Survivor Craft videos as Minecraft PE videos in just one channel. Yeah, but uh, how about this one? Oh, so I hate it. And I think uh, the dinosaur noticed that I'm a die. Oh. Now, if you're looking for more Survivor Cup videos, then check out my second channel, Unique Potato Channel. Currently, this channel is focusing on Survivor Cup related videos such as update reviews, tutorial videos, and mod showcase. This channel is aiming to be one of the best Survivor Cup channels on YouTube. For fans of both Minecraft PE and Survivor Cup, Chicky Pumpkin is a channel to visit. It contains Minecraft PE and Survivor Cup videos that are creatively made just for the fans. Are you a Minecraft fan? Are you a Survivor Craft fan? Wanna learn something new? Then subscribe to these channels. Mr. Pogsamore channel, Unique Potato channel, and Tricky Pumpkin channel. Bye now.